tub mount enables quick, level, and trouble-free installation of all fiberglass, hybrid, and cast iron alcove tubs. Refer to your tub manufacturer's instructions and incorporate them along with the tub mount system. Cut a straight, kiln-dried 2x4 stud to 1 8 inch less than the width of the alcove. Check for level along the floor where the front apron will make contact. If necessary, use the provided plastic shims to attain level. Use the provided extra tub rim screw to attach wedges to the floor and trim excess. Determine the recommended ledger height from the tub instructions and add 1 quarter inch at each corner wall stud. While holding the ledger in place, mark the width of the center stud on the ledger. With the ID stamp facing you, use pliers to bend each bracket to 90 degrees along the second row of perforated holes. The bracket ID is stamped on the front, and this orients the countersinks correctly. Once all three straps are properly bent, using the provided 1.5 inch flathead screws, attach all three brackets through the center hole into the bottom of the ledger. Corner brackets usually attach just shy of each end of the ledger. Check the corner stud's location. Some adjustments may be necessary for a proper alignment. Now, attach the brackets to the back of the ledger as illustrated. Once brackets are attached to the ledger, position the ledger at the previously marked elevation. Using one 1 1.5 inch flathead screw, attach the ledger through the top hole. With a tub rim screw, attach the bracket through the center of the upper elongated adjustment slot and tighten. Repeat on the opposite end using height marks as a guide. Do not install any screws in the middle bracket at this time. Now that your ledger is installed and approximately level, apply a thick bead of adhesive caulk or silicone along the top of the ledger. Then, position your tub into the alcove and lower it downward onto the ledger. When the tub is in the correct position, remove upper temporary screws from both corner straps and place your levels along the back and ends of the tub. For easy adjustments, bend the left and right lifter tabs forward approximately 35 degrees. Check again to be sure the front apron has been leveled with the provided wedges if necessary. With levels in place, you can now raise or lower the tub on each end and fine-tune the adjustments in both directions for a perfect level installation. To lower the tub, simply tap down on the top of either lifter tab. Loosen or tighten tub adjuster screws as necessary. If you need to raise the tub, drive a flathead screwdriver vertically oriented into the wall stud through the lifter tab and use it to lift the tub. Once the tub is level, retighten the rim screw and push lifter tabs back flush to the stud. Install three bracket screws in each of the tub mount brackets. It is important to remove the protruding tub rim adjuster screws from the left and right brackets before continuing. Now, the tub can be permanently locked into place. With a slight downward angle, use the tub rim screws to attach the tub to all wall studs on the back and ends of the tub. Some wood shimming may be necessary to prevent bending of the tub rim. Tub mount, perfect level in half the time. Visit us online at tubmount.com.